If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, our keto friends. We are very excited because we are making a Reuben pizza. Yeah. Do you know what a Reuben is? No. <laughs> I didn't think you did. I am a traditional, I'm a German girl and I love Reubens. Grandma Nancy used to make us Reubens all the time in the summer for lunch. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. You gotta get your sauerkraut on, Kai. You like sauerkraut? You don't even know what sauerkraut is. Anyway, we're gonna start with our pizza crust. Actually, you know what? Turn your oven on to 400, 425 degrees so it's really piping hot. Yes. And if you have a pizza stone, you're gonna put that in there right away so that gets hot. All right. If you don't have a pizza stone, don't worry about it. But if you want that nice crispy crust, use a pizza stone. So in a large bowl, we're gonna start with uh, one and three fourths cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, okay? And we are going to use two tablespoons of butter. Now Kai, I need you to go and put this in the microwave for like 90 seconds, okay? Yep. So he's gonna heat that up. If you don't use a microwave, you could heat it over, um, uh, a sauce pot or something like that. I have many recipe testers and two of which don't use a microwave and it still works for them. But don't judge me, I use a microwave. It is what it is. And what we're going to do is we're using powdered uh, pork panko for the crust. You could use almond flour, but we're lowering the carbohydrates even more with the pork panko. And you need one egg. Yep, don't put that anywhere yet because it's got to go in that bowl. And we're not gonna use a hand mixer because if you remember in the carnivore crust, yeah. <laughs> I used a hand mixer and some lady like wrote comments like, you're gonna take your finger off because I was using my fingers. But, so we're just gonna use this. So if you don't have a hand mixer, you just use this. Works a little bit better. And then um, you got your Redmond Real Salt. So, yeah. yeah, Redmond Real Salt will add a little bit of that into the mixture. Um, yeah. If you use code MARIA15, you get 15% mm -hmm. off. We love them free of microplastics. You wanna go get that? Thanks, buddy. And remember, if you share these videos, you could win any of my books. I have a garage filled with books um, because all of my book signings were canceled. So if you share these YouTube videos, go to YouTube and then click share and tag me. Um, you could win these books because we just have so many and we want to spread joy. There's too much sadness and frustration in the world right now. We want to spread joy, right, Kai? Yep. So here, we have this, and what I'm gonna do is just start mixing the butter into the um, shredded mozzarella. Yep, because um, that's what you wanna do to make the, it's kind of like a fathead crust without the almond flour, because I just don't do good with nut flours. It always calls me to um, gain weight and get kind of bloated, so. Um, when, if you're doing the keto diet and eating a lot of nuts and dairy usually, um, maybe try to cut those out. Focus on your protein goal, right Kai? Yeah. Protein, big strong muscles. Okay, so now that that's mixed, why don't you put three-fourths of a cup of our pork panko. The link is below for where to find the pork panko. All right. And order a lot of it, because once you make this pizza, you're going to want to make a big batch. And that's what I usually do. If we make this pizza, I usually do like four or five of the crust, because guess what? I grew up in Medford, Wisconsin, which is Tombstone Pizza, capital of the world. Okay, guy, you can crack that one egg in there. Put one egg right on in there, and then I'll mix it up. And we grew up on a freezer filled with Tombstone Pizza. Yeah, you can go wash your hands, bud. Um, we fill, had tombstone pizza all the time, um, and so I just fill my freezer. Oh, that's such a beautiful yolk. It must have been one of the neighbor's eggs. Um, <laughs> uh, so we always had frozen pizza. We even had pizza for lunch sometimes. I'm going to actually use my hands because that's going to work a lot better. Okay. Hey, Kai, could you grab something, um, one of those? I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> I need to get the hot pizza stone out, and I don't want to burn my hands. An, um, like a cloth or something from the drawer here. Okay. Okay, so once this is all well mixed, I know you need a video camera from up here. Yeah, right, in, right there, bud. Yeah. I'm like an Italian grandma. La 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 la, making dough, right? Yep. Yep, Mama Maria's Italian kitchen. Okay, yeah. If you like Rubens, you're gonna wanna make this pizza. So I'm gonna grab the pizza stone out, okay? 
All right. Can you close that up, Kai? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hot. And I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper on it just because it helps with cleanup, okay? And then I'm going to put my dough right on there and ooh, start flattening this out. And what's great about this pizza recipe is the toppings are really, really easy. I'll show you. I think dump them on them? Or? Well, not quite yet, buddy. We're going to preheat this Back. crust. I like to uh, put my crust in the oven for a little bit to get them starting to crisp up, okay? And then, uh, and then we'll put the toppings on. Because if you put the sauce on right now, it's not going to get as crispy. It's going to get a little soggy. And I want a crispy crust. And look Yep, I'm picky, Kai. I grew up with Tombstone Pizza. Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. You know what? Yeah, you know what Grandpa Joe says? What? After your I say bless you, he what? says, I am. I am blessed. Okay, Kai, we're going to put this in the oven. And we're going to put this in the oven for about five or six minutes, okay? Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Yeah. We're going to take this pizza oven or the pizza crust right on out. Ooh, it's hot. Kai, can you close that door? So you can see how it's got a nice brown crust. That's about when you want to take it out. And this part, I love this pizza because it's just so darn easy. I'm not making a sauce. I'm not making any toppings. Um, so I'm just going to pour that over and then I'm going to use a spoon and kind of spread it out. Okay. I'd like to add a little bit uh -huh. at the end. Um, I love sauce, but if you add too much right now, you're probably going to end up with a soggy crust. So I just like to dip it in this <laughs> sauce. So that's my layer of sauce. Uh -huh. And then, Kai, you want to sprinkle on some corned beef? So you just sprinkle on the corned beef. Yummy, yummy. I love corned beef. <laughs> I have a great Instant Pot corned beef recipe for Alia. Give me the cheese. I love cheese. So first, we need to add some sauerkraut on top of the corned beef. So this is sauerkraut. Now, make sure you don't get a lot of so uh, watery um, vinegar in there. So kind of wring it out with your hands to get all of that liquid out because otherwise it's going to make this crust soggy. So this is sauerkraut. It's delicious. Do you like pickles? Yeah. Now be careful everybody. Don't buy the Bavarian sauerkraut. Craig and I were in Russia last, or not Russia, Germany last November and Munich I absolutely fell in love with but I didn't eat any of their sauerkraut because it's very sweet. And one time we were eating pork knuckle and we asked for, um, oh, and if you haven't seen my pork knuckle video, check out that because that's like the best thing. I love eating that. Um, we asked for regular mustard and the waiter yeah. kind of yelled at us and said, that's not how you eat pork knuckle. I was like, we know, but we just don't want the sugary stuff. So we kind of got yelled at, but let me just add a little bit more because I like some sauerkraut. All right, so we got some sauerkraut on there. And then, Kai, you can do the cheese. Well, I rinse my hands, wipe my hands off anyway. Oh, no, 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 do this. Okay. <laughs> like this. <I> got it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just gonna be a big old pile. We got cheese everywhere, and we just cleaned the house yesterday. <laughs> there we go, that's good. We'll just spread that out a little bit. Maybe a little more. Okay, you got more? Kai, oh my gosh. You were so vacuuming after this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now this is going to go back into the oven for about 10 minutes. We'll catch you back in a little bit. All right, everybody. So our pizza is dinging. It is ready. It is nice and golden brown. Ah, look at that. It is a beaut, Clark. It is a beaut. So here is our Reuben pizza. Um, it is absolutely delicious. It's just super hot right now, Kai. So we are going to wait for it to settle, cut into it, and have the most yeah. delicious lunch and remember mm -hmm. primal kitchen yeah. they are like the only dressings we've found without any vegetable oils in them and if you know anything about vegetable oils yeah. that is probably the worst thing that you could ever have a lot of people think sugar is the worst thing um, they're finding that vegetable oils change the structure of our cells mm -hmm. so we can no longer handle sugar like we once were able to um, so get rid of the vegetable oils Primal Kitchen stuff's yeah. awesome. Nice company. Um, we love them. Make yeah. the pizza and take us in your pictures. And, and comment down below. Comment down below. Share these videos and yeah. you could win a book, everybody.
Mahalo. Mahalo. Sharing is caring. 